And this is what happened yesterday. Sit beside the breakfast table Think about your troubles Pour yourself a cup of tea And think about the bubbles You can take your teardrops And drop them in a teacup Take them down to the riverside And throw them over the side To be swept up by a current some fishes who were eaten by some fishes and swallowed by a whale who grew so old he Your trouble. Oh, 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 
fragment. No, that's finished. That's <laughs> what's he, what do you call it? Think about your troubles. Think about your troubles. Yeah, yeah I uh, I don't know. Let me get a cigarette. Yeah, magic. No, uh, you know, every once in a while I get a, yeah. No, I get a gee whiz thing. At uh, at uh, 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 everybody's entitled their gee whizzes, right? And uh, I got a few of mine, and you know. You sat down, and I started uh, googling up the various things I had to do. And uh, yeah, uh, have a full ashtray. Thank you. Keep. And I stuck on the earphones, right? Because I couldn't hear you over the piano. And I've been listening to, uh, you know, uh, uh, without embarrassing or anything like that. I've been listening to a very heavy diet of your records uh, and and this is not a backhanded compliment but uh, you make me feel good and and you know <laughs> I play I, at all it's no well you know I play I play uh, when I'm when I'm when I'm uh, uptight or bothered or what have you I play an awful lot of I'll be homes and Caroline's and maybe's and 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 the the all of those things with that lovely flowing thing and uh, Plus which, I said something on a program the other night. Uh, you have the, what I call a Bradbury thing. <laughs> the ability to recapture uh, what it felt like when you were a kid. Uh, uh, and a particularly American... Well, it was only about a week ago. You know, yeah, <laughs> last week when I was a kid. You never stopped being a kid. <laughs> but uh, when, uh, you know, I was talking about, I said... Uh, when colors are brighter and things smell better, and uh, and there's still an awful lot of wonder in the world, right? Well, some of us never quite lose it, but every once in a while somebody comes along and you got a record or something like that. So anyhow, the G Wiz thing was uh, when I put on the earphones and you started singing. That, I said, "Wow, wow, that's really Harry, and he's really singing that song right here," <laughs> you know. And uh, so, like. Gee whiz. Gee whiz. This is KRHM Los Angeles, and we're rapping with Harry Nielsen. Do some Harry things. Yeah, see. Sure. Uh, oh, yeah. Poly high, polytechnic, polytechnical high, poly high, polytechnical high, poly high, polytechnic, polytechnical high, poly high, polytechnical high, valley low, valley low.
Harper's Bazaar did it. Yeah, so did Tom Northcote. No, he didn't. No, he did. Uh, he did Yeah. Uh, and he did 1941. Uh, the, uh, I think it's the best high school song I've written. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, it's the only one that you can stick with after you leave school, right? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, well, here's the dear old New Rochelle. Somehow it gets out of my head very quickly. Uh, I, uh, made a suggestion when you were, when Randy was going to work the, uh, troop, and, uh, essentially it was his first performance and I suggested to the people over there look they didn't have a second act right and I said look why don't you uh, why don't you get uh, Harry Nielsen and Van Dyke Parks to come in and put three pianos up on the <laughs> stage and just let them all do what they feel like doing you know and uh, never mind you know do a living room thing and do uh, two sets a night you know I'd feel like hiding if they both played piano what do you do when you're not writing watch television <laughs> Yeah, American boy. No, but that's that's uh, you know, you come in here uh, and you've been so much part of what we've been doing, uh, particularly the last three four months. And uh, I don't know anything about you. There's there's nothing on your album notes, for instance. You know, album notes are a thing of the past. But Derek Taylor wrote some notes, and essentially he was writing about Derek Taylor. He wasn't writing about you. It's because he hadn't heard the album. He heard the last album, and he wrote the liner notes. Uh Anticipation. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, but uh, otherwise, you know, on Harry, there's no notes. Yeah. On uh, on uh, Pandemonium, there's no notes. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, where do you come from? Well, yeah. Originally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I, uh, from New York, you know, but I moved out here when I was 11. And um, where'd you go to school? In New York. Uh, Lady of Good Counsel Academy. Out here? On Madison Avenue. <laughs> Madison Avenue in Manhattan? In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. Okay. Uh, where'd you go to school out here? Uh, St. John Vianney High, third in Detroit. Mm. Then I went uh, back Not to from New York. Here. Not very far from here? Not too far. No. Yeah. And then you went back to New York? Yeah, and then came back out here again. And then I went back to New York. And then I came to LA. And then I went back to New York. And came to LA. <laughs> right. Well, I did that number two. But, uh, when did you start writing songs, Harry? Uh, professionally, you mean, or just... Just writing. Uh, I've been asked that question a lot of times. I really don't know. I, um, Were you a teenager? Yeah, in the teens, I guess. Any of the songs that you recorded from that period? No. No. I don't think I started writing, uh, uh, you know, really, or uh, uh, writing seriously, you know, quote, uh, until about 1941, I mean, the song 1941, which was uh, about uh, four years ago, I guess. Anyway. 